Hello, my name is Dr. Daniel Galvis. I'm a transplant surgeon here at the University of Tennessee Medical Center in Knoxville. I'm here to talk to you about a very exciting opportunity for our transplant patients, and that is accepting organs with hepatitis C. The average wait time to receive a kidney transplant in the state of Tennessee is about three to five years. Due to a long wait time for a deceased donor kidney transplant, we will start offering organs infected with hepatitis C, which offer the possibility of much shorter wait time. Hepatitis C is a member of the hepatitis virus family, which infects the liver. It is most commonly transmitted through blood products and blood transfusions. The discovery of new hepatitis C medications now offer a cure rate of more than 95%. The transplant community has over five years of experience transplanting organs with hepatitis C with excellent outcomes. If you meet specific criteria, you will be offered the possibility of accepting these organs. A special consent must be signed, and this will have no impact on your position on the kidney transplant wait list. You may or may not become infected with hepatitis C. You will be monitored closely with frequent blood draws, and if the hepatitis C virus is detected in your blood, you will be referred to a doctor specializing in hepatitis C virus treatment. You will receive eight to 12 weeks of therapy, and the virus levels will be checked frequently. These medications will not interact with your anti-rejection medications. It is unlikely you will experience any of the symptoms related to hepatitis C, such as abdominal pain, nausea, jaundice, fatigue, and weight loss, because as soon as we detect the virus in your blood, we will start therapy. You will be required to follow specific precautions while you receive therapy, and we believe that organs infected with hepatitis C offer a great opportunity, shortening how long you have to wait to receive a kidney transplant. We encourage you to discuss this opportunity with your family members and doctors, and feel free to reach out to a transplant coordinator with any questions or concerns.